हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक टर्म सिंबल एंड हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कंपैरिजन ऑफ एलएस एंड जेजे कपलिंग आई विल फर्स्ट डिस्कस द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन एलएस एंड जेजे कपलिंग एंड देन आई विल कैलकुलेट द एलएस एज वेल एज जेजे टर्म सिंबल्स फॉर एसपी कॉन्फिगरेशन एंड देन आई विल ड्रॉ दिस स्प्लिटिंग डायग्राम ओवर देयर so let's start with a video first we are going to discuss the differences between ls and jj coupling as the name suggests ls coupling it means this l represents the orbital angular momentum and this s represents the spin angular momentum this ls coupling is also known as russell solder coupling so first we are going to discuss this russell solder couplings right so let's start with this so this ls coupling is applicable for lighter elements which are having their atomic number less than 30 secondly in case of ls coupling spin orbit coupling is weaker than the spin spin and orbital orbital coupling so what does it mean so here you can understand that here first for the individual electron we are going to calculate the spin spin coupling and then orbital orbital coupling after that we are moving to the determination of spin orbit coupling for that system so this ls coupling is weaker in case of lighter elements therefore it is applicable to the lighter element now the question comes how we are going to calculate this so here we are first calculate the total orbital angular momentum for the individual electrons or unpaired electrons present in the given system and spin angular momentum for the individual electron in a given system so how we are going to calculate this these are the summation of all the l values or orbital angular momentum of unpaired electrons and it is a vector sum similarly for this spin angular momentum now coming to the point what is this vector sum so this vector sum is equal to l1 plus l2 to l1 minus l2 differing by 1 so here in this case students get confused if you have written like this then how you are going to calculate in this manner because it is a vector sum once we calculate the total orbital angular momentum and spin angular momentum we are going to calculate the total angular momentum which is the sum of orbital and spin angular momentum so here this j has values l plus s to l minus s this l plus s is positive so here this modulus doesn't mean much but here in this case if s is greater than l then we get the negative value so this modulus gives us absolute value because our j cannot be negative so this is important now coming to the point how many j values are there so if we are having s is less than l then j has values 2s plus 1 if our l is less than s then j has values 2l plus 1 this concept i have discussed in my previous video i will give you the link over here and you can check that this is discussed there in detail now coming to the jj coupling so as i mentioned here in case of ls coupling it is applicable to lighter elements so jj coupling is applicable to heavier elements here i have written this atomic number is equal to 30 here i will bring to your notice that this is not a clear cut indication that beyond 30 we are having jj coupling and less than 30 we are having this ls coupling actually for some of the elements there is intermediate coupling also available for some of the elements so there is not a clear cut distinction between these two extremes now why this jj coupling is applicable for heavier elements the reason behind this is that the heavier atoms has electrons which moves faster generates larger magnetic field and strong spin orbital interaction so if spin orbital interaction is very strong then we are moving to the jj coupling in this case spin orbit coupling is weaker so this is the important distinction between these two so further we can explain it that jj coupling dominates when spin orbit coupling is strong that is orbital spin motion for individual electrons couple quite strongly so we assign small j 
for each individual electron and these small j coupled together to give the total angular momentum capital G. How we are going to calculate that? As I mentioned here, for individual electron, we are going to assign the small j, total angular momentum for individual electron. And this is equal to the L1 plus S1 to L1 minus S1. So here only these two values are possible, plus S and minus S. Because each electron has only plus minus S value. So L1 plus S to L1 minus S. And these J values of individual electrons coupled together to give the total angular momentum of the system. Now I will explain all these with one example. So here I am taking the example of SP configuration. Here this SP stands for that one electron is present in the s orbital and one electron is present in the p orbital. These are non-equivalent electron because for these l value is different, right? This I have already discussed in my previous video. So for this s, we are going to assign the orbital angular momentum. So for this s, for s orbital, we are having l is equal to 0 and for p orbital, we are having l is equal to 1 and for d, it is equal to this is 1 and this is 2 right and so on so here what i have assigned you can see for this s orbital right? s orbital l1 is 0 and s is 1 by 2 for this p orbital we are having l is equal to 1 and s is equal to 1 by 2 for one electron right now coming to the calculation of total orbital angular moment which is the sum of all the orbital angular momentum of the present electrons, right? So here we are having two electrons, one and two. So here what we are going to have L1 plus L2 to L1 minus L2 differing by one. So how we are going to calculate this? For this L1 is zero, here you can see and L2 is one. And here L1 is zero again and L2 is one. So in both the cases, I will get the one value. No other value is present, right? Now coming to the total spin angular momentum, which is again the sum of spin angular momentum of individual electrons. So here we are having two electrons. So S1 plus S2 to S1 minus S2. So here you can have values and plus S2 will give us one and S1 minus S2 will give us zero. So here we are having two values 1 and 0. If I subtract 1 minus 1 then again I will get the 0. So only two values are there. No in between value is present over there. So in this manner we are having the value of L and value of capital S that is total spin angular momentum. So corresponding to this S we are calculating the spin multiplicity. So spin multiplicity is equal to 2S plus 1. So, 1 by 1 we are putting the value of s. So, for 1 this implies 2 into 1 plus 1 this gives us 3 and for this 0 we are getting 2 into 0 plus 1 this gives us 1 only. So, we are having two spin multiplicity values and corresponding to this l we assign the state. So, as I mentioned earlier for this s and p if we are having capital L is equal to 1, so it corresponds to the P state. So P state is there and two different multiplicity is there, right? So I have assigned this term, you can see here, 3P and 1P. Now coming to the J value. So J is total angular momentum, which is the sum of L and S. So here we are calculating this J corresponding to the combination of this 1 and 1 corresponding to this combination l is 1 s is 1 so if l is 1 s is 1 then we are getting 2 and l minus s will gives us 0 we have to reach from this 2 to 0 how we are going to reach so differing by 1 so 2 minus 1 will gives me 1 this 1 minus 1 will gives me 0. So only 3 values are possible for this. So that I have mentioned here. Now coming to the this 1 for L and this S is equal to 0. 
So 1 and 0 will give us 1 plus 0 and 1 minus 0. In both the cases, I will get the value of 1. So there are for this s is equal to 1, we get these three l is equal to 1 and s is equal to 1, we get these three values and l is equal to 1, s is equal to 0, we get one value. So I have written the j values corresponding to the l and s. You can see over here. Now coming to the last point, here in this case l and s both are same. So we are having values of j is equal to 2s plus 1 or 2l plus 1. So 2s plus 1 will also give us 3 and 2l plus 1 will also give us 3. So we have 3 values of j in this case. Whereas here in this case l is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0. So s is 0 which is less than l. So we are having 2s plus 1 value. So we are having 1 value of j. These are the term symbols for this LS coupling for the given configuration of S. Now coming to the JJ coupling for the same configuration. So here I am going to calculate the J value for the individual electron. So what is this J value? The J value is given as L1 plus S1 to L1 minus S1. So this L1 is for S electron this L1 is 0 and S is 1 by 2 for this s electron for p electron l1 is 1 and s is 1 by 2 so you can calculate j1 is equal to this l1 plus s1 l1 plus s1 and l1 minus s1 so now we are putting the values 0 plus 1 by 2 this to this one and this gives me 1 by 2, this also gives me 1 by 2. So only one value of 1 by 2 for this J1 is available. Now coming to the J2 value. So J2 is L1 plus S2 to L1 minus S2. So we get for this 3 by 2 and for this we get 1 by 2. And for this J1 we are having 1 by 2. Right. So here now what we are going to do? We are going to combine these combinations of J1 and J2 in this manner. So J1 and J2 in this case we are getting 1 by 2, 3 by 2. And if we take the another case of J1 and J2, another combination, then we get this 1 by 2, 1 by 2, right? So here two combinations of J1 and J2 are possible. Because of this combination, we are having this, so we are calculating the j value. So how we are going to calculate the j? As I told you earlier, this is the vector sum and we are having the value j1 plus j2 to modulus of j1 minus j2. So here j1 plus j2 will give us 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 4 by 2 is equal to 2. So we are having this 2, right? And J1 minus J2 corresponding to this what we are going to get? We are getting 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2. So it will give us 2 by 2 means 1. So we are having 2 and 1 value. Now coming to the next combination J is equal to 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. So here on adding these two we will get 1 and on subtracting these two we will get 0. Only two values are possible. Now comparing it with the ls coupling so here in this case ls coupling we are having the j values 2 1 0 1 and here what we are getting we are getting 2 1 1 and 0 right so same values for j in both the cases we get observed here we are now drawing the splitting levels for ls and jj coupling this is our configuration corresponding to this configuration we are having two different terms these are called terms so p3 and p1 so p3 has high multiplicity so it will be lower now for this 3p we are having 0 1 and 2 values for this j and since it is half filled therefore we are having 0 as the lowest one so 3p0 3p1 and 3p2 and here only one value is possible 1p1 now, what you may have asked a question, what is this? These are the microstates actually and these microstates have values 2j plus 1. 
so here what is j j is 0 so only one value is there and for this one we are having three and for this two we are having five levels and here we are having three corresponding to this one so in this manner we are having the multiplicity of these microstates corresponding to this energy level these microstates have almost same energy therefore they are degenerated within this energy level jj coupling splitting diagram will be drawn like this here is the configuration and we are having 1 by 2 1 by 2 value for jj and 1 by 2 3 by 2 combination of jj so these are the splitting of terms and now this further split into two levels corresponding to 0 and 1 on subtracting 1 by 2 1 by 2 we get 0 on adding 1 by 2 1 we get 1 i have solved it in my previous slide here 1 by 2 3 by 2 gives us 2 and 1 by 2 3 by 2 gives us 1 j values are same same splitting level here we are having here 4 and here again we are having 4 and corresponding to this j value these are the j values actually we are having the microstate you can also understand this microstates will be labeled as plus j to minus j in this manner so here we are having 5 so plus j to minus j drawing these two splitting levels in one diagram so here i am just showing you so this is the splitting level diagram for ls so you are very much familiar with this now combining this jj with this ls what we get we get is 0 is in level of this cp0 and 3p1 however this 2j value is slightly higher in energy and this 1j value for this jj coupling is slightly lower in energy these are the microstates so in one splitting diagram we can draw this jj coupling and ls coupling in this manner now here the important point is that coupling intermediates as i discussed earlier that no clear cut distinction between these two different couplings if we are having the coupling intermediate between the two extremes that is jj and ls coupling the terms can always be identified by their j values means total angular momentum of an atom is conserved as the coupling is changed so this is very important line very very important so you must remember this so i hope guys you understand this concept and you like this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up thank you all thanks for watching